So I've been doing a lot of consulting at a couple of companies, one of them uh, new to NX. And uh, some of the things that they do uh, require some very, very uh, interesting shapes. And a lot of it is composites based. So having the ability to create offsets and ramps and all sorts of other stuff, very important. And uh, so it brought to mind a tool that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite tools and I think that uh, Siemens is going to do away with it and they're replacing it with other tools but while it's there I do want to talk about it this is an old tool this goes back at least to the 20 years that I've been on the system uh, and it's called under pad and pocket either one it's called general pad general pocket in this case I'll do a pad and you can see it's an old feature because or because you can tell by the menu right it's menu driven once I hit general, it takes you to this general pad menu. And again, you can tell this is old. So I'm going to pick uh, the first selection is the placement face. Where is the pad pocket going? Now, if this is a solid, it will build a pad out. If this is a, a general pocket, it would remove material. But since this is just a surface, you'll see it works just fine on this as well. Next is what's called placement outline. You'll see here, as soon as I go to placement outline, there's a lot of options. And for this, I'm going to pick this outside ring. And once I have that outside ring, you can see I have theoretical, tangent, I can reverse, and I want it to the theoreticals. Okay. Next, I'm going to come down, I'm going to leave placement radius, top radius, and corner radius alone for now. And you'll see why. If I right now just simply hit, I'm going to turn on confirm upon apply, you'll see why. I'm going to hit apply. There is my pad. Let me reverse it because this is my general direction here. There is my pad. And I'm going to hit back. Well, how does it control the depth? Well, if I go to top face, this is how it controls the depth. I can do an offset of the base surface or I can do a translation of the base surface. So it gives you a couple of options. Sometimes an offset won't work, but sometimes a translate will. And uh, it'll give you slightly different results, again, depending upon how much curvature the surface has. But uh, how deep is this? I'll say uh, 20 for now. And again, if I hit apply, you can see I'm going in 20. We'll go back. Next is top outline. By default, it's set to oh, 15 degrees. If I increase this, we'll say 35. Hit my apply, you can see there's my 35 degrees and I'm going to go back. But if I don't want a uh, um, an offset top outline like that, let me go back to top outline, you'll see taper, I have the ability of picking additional curves. These curves, now let me hit my apply, look at those crazy, crazy shapes, are going to drive that top outline. And the reason why I got this, as soon as I hit back, you're going to see it, is because of where I picked my curve from. You see I should have picked it from here. So I'm just going to deselect these and then reselect these until these are coming into the same corner. I'm going to again confirm upon apply and this time as you can see these edges are driven by that profile. So I can have two different profiles to define that shape. Brilliant, brilliant tool. Um, I'm going to go back, and then you have other options. Once again, there's my, uh, my, my, my profile at the top there. You can see I have a target body. In this case, it's the surface that I have selected. I have projection outline. I got normal to plane of curves. In this case, it's a sketch, so that's just fine. You'll see I have other options. If I need them, I can use them. And then uh, top outline projection vector. And again, so I can have a different projection for the top outline and bottom outline. So these are translation vectors based off of um, uh, how I actually uh, uh, um, am moving. Am I doing an offset or am I doing a transformation and so on. And with that, I'm just going to simply select OK to create my pad. This is really nice because if I double click on my pad, I can come to any one of these once again, right? I can edit all this stuff if I want to. I can deselect these and just put in a standard uh, taper of, uh, we'll say, 20 degrees and 
relative to face normals, blah, blah, blah. Hit my OK, OK. So there's my 20 degrees. There's my general pattern. You'll notice all of those uh, parameters are there now. So here's my angle. I can say 35. You can see it shifts pretty much right away. There's my offset depth. We go 25. I also have the capability of adjusting some radii. Now the first radius you want to adjust is the corner. It's these vertical corners. If you don't put those in, it will fail. It, these other ones here can go in once this is on. So I'll, I'll come in here and I'll say 15. So there's my corner. And I'll say 10. This is my placement. This is my placement face, obviously. And this one, I'll say 5. That's my floor radius. So as you can see, I have an incredible amount of control with this general pad. And again, general pocket will do the same thing. Absolutely marvelous, super fabulous tools. So I can come once again. My offset, I'll just say is 10. Just like that. Update. Okay, so um, again, they're considered a legacy tool now in NX12, which um, is, to me, it's a kind of a shame. I know they're cleaning um, cleaning the tool up, and they they got the emboss tool, and they got the variable offset tools, and some of the other tools, but this, this to me, is, uh, quite frankly, one of the most powerful tools, and I did used to use it heavily, especially when I was doing uh, uh, some uh, body and white stuff, when I was doing some uh, front of dash. Uh, you just simply draw the sketch. You didn't have to make the pad or the or the uh, the the extrude. You didn't have to do the drafting. None of that. It just just did all of that all at once for you. Magical, magical tool. Use it while you still can. Anyway, I um, hope you learned something. Hope you liked the video. If you do, like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please share with a friend.